Today we're going to be doing a walk around and test drive um, on this 1970 Buick Skylark convertible. Just a great looking driver. Awesome look. Drop the top, you know, and, and cruise. Yeah, super cool car. I love the stands too. Um, it came in with the Buick rallies. We went ahead and put these. That's a pretty cool car right there, guys. That's uh, one of Coyote Classics finest right there, 1969 Firebird. Seam, seam Man, build. Seam build. I can't get distracted. No, All right, to back to the Buick. All right. So we put these US mags, brand new chrome wheels, BFG raised white letter tires, and it's got a fantastic stance. I just love the look of this car. Um, price right. I mean, price to sell. It's a turnkey car, under $25,000, and it's a convertible. So great looking car all the way around. Um, Tim went ahead and buffed it from front to back. It looks great. Again, it's got a great stance. Original bumpers, stuff like that. So you're going to see a lot of little, a little uh, imperfections on the original bumpers and some surface rust and some scratches. And as we go underneath the hood, it's got a, a 354 barrel. Does have power steering, power brakes, but just kind of a I don't want to say barn find, but just original in the hood. Nothing's ever been done under there that I can see. When they painted it, they did a good job on the inner fenders. They did a nice job there. Still has all of its original uh, sound deadener and stuff in the hood. Looks like someone did put a new wiper motor in it at one time. Single exhaust, but the exhaust looks relatively new. Idle down, choke just came off as well. Um, I'm going to kind of go to the interior real quick and then while uh, I'm doing the outside, Dalton can go ahead and put the top up. It's got the original boot, it does have some yellowing. Uh, it's got the parchment interior, which is that uh, really nice looking, kind of a pearl white. Uh, all in all, the interior is in good shape. Dash pad is beautiful, there's no cracks anywhere in the dash that I can see. Steering wheel's original, original radio, looks like they got an 8-track player there. Uh, carpet's worn, it could be the original carpet still. Original GM seat belts. Again, the carpet's worn in the back just a little bit too. So, um, we'll go ahead and put that top up, would you? As we go here, so many of these GTOs and Buicks have such a heavy hood and a lot of times the hinges wear out. But this one's awesome. The back of the hood lines up to the top of the fender really nice and the top of the door. Gaps are great on the front edge of the door, rocker panel, lower fender is perfect, bottom of the door is excellent. This paint job is older, but it still shines very nicely. It's got a couple imperfections, but the as far as the doors and stuff, line up awesome, no bubbles there. Over the wheel well is great. Um, we've got a couple paint imperfections right up here, and it does have a, a crack in the bodywork right here in the paint. But as we look up and down the sides, super straight car. Um, when they did the paint job, they did a great job on the door jams as well. They painted the uh, car with the doors off. You can just kind of tell about the quality. Same thing here in the inners. Yeah, the top goes up pretty quick. It really does. Nice power top. Um, it's an older top, it's the original, but it goes up nice and even. Uh, there again, the rubbers are original too, so some door rubbers and felts would uh, definitely enhance the car. Corner of the door is solid. Um, the top, back window is all intact and tight, but it does have a tear on the side of the top on the passenger side. And like I said, the top appears to be the original white top still. Uh, door panels are a little wrinkly, they're the Buick Skylark Custom. Um, down at the very bottom, you can tell that the clips and stuff are just kind of wearing loose a little bit. That's just a little wrinkly on the original panel. Door shuts great, body lines up nice, back bumper is tarnished. You can tell that's original as well. Uh, but if you look how the nice, the trunk lid lines up to the quarter extension and all the way across the top, that's excellent, both sides. So the car has really good bones and a great look. Um, maybe replace the top, a couple bumpers, stuff like that if you want to, and uh, have a hell of a nice car. And this car came from the same owner that that really nice 66 GTO did. You know, yeah. he restored that, or 67 GTO rather. 
Um, he restored that one, and, and his GTO was almost, you know, too nice to drive. So he drove this one a lot and took this it to was, a lot of shows. Yeah. And this was his driver, and the GTO he never drove. Re yep. Rotisserie restored, and it was just never drove it. Um, never did put a mile on it. Never got out of the garage. So I mean, I'll, I'm kind of impressed after we buffed it out. You know, it, the paint shines real well, and, and mechanically, you know, the, the motor runs really smooth, which is. Well, like I was mentioning earlier, look at the gaps. Look at the way this door fits on the quarter here. How many of a cheaper car like this have gaps like this? Both sides of the hood line up perfect on the top of the fender. And you can do all kinds of things. You can take it and, and drive it and enjoy it just as is, and slowly tinker with it, and uh, kind of make it whatever you want, but very solid original body it's car. It's a great car. It's got a little scratch here in the bottom of the door, you can see, and it's got two tiny little bubbles, very, very small on the front edge of that door. Other than that, that's ready to go. Uh, windows seem to line up really good here on the driver's side against the quarter window as well. Uh, driver's side corner of the door. Driver's side seat is excellent. Um, on the cords here is all nice. The odometer shows 34,813. I'm guessing it's 134. Um, temp gauge down here is about 1, uh, 160, 165. Power tops, still in its original mm -hmm. spot there. Original radio works. Really? It's crazy. Oh. Updates about hands in harmony. Nice. That's it's, pretty cool. It always tells you about what the car is all about when the original radio and stuff works. I know that the reverse lights work when I was back in that mm -hmm. showroom as well. Wipers work. Looks like maybe a little. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There's a little tiny little uh, rock chip right in the window right Looks there. Looks like it's it been, been fixed. Filled, yeah. yeah, it's been fixed. Um, horn. Everything seems like it's here, so it's all moves and stuff, but the horn's not working. I noticed the lights in the dash and stuff work too when you turn the key, like the accessory lights in the dash. Good. Feel the heat already. That's good. The heat on? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so the gas gauge works. Park indicator works as well, which that doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. And the original steering wheel is in excellent condition. It's just nice mm -hmm. and smooth. You beat the mailman here. Ooh, it's got get up. It really does. Yeah. It's, it's no show car, but it's just an awesome, fun driver. Yeah, the steering is perfectly straight, so it doesn't need alignment. The brakes stop nice and straight there, no pull left and right. 354 wheel, and it's a 70, so I mean, it did have some power back there. Mm -hmm. Beat the mailman. Yeah, we did. He's driving me too. If we line up with we'll him a little bit. Buick Sable, 94. The Saber. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to take you. Buick Buick. The tranny shifts beautiful on it. There's 55 mile an hour. Shocks feel good. Shifts down to second, back up to third. Really a great car. Yeah, it really is. You know, and like you said, it's not a, it's not a show car, but it's not a, it's not a, you know, the dirt, it drives mechanically awesome. Stuff works, very nice original car. It's great looking, I mean, I know you say, I think anyone could take this to a local car show, put the top down and enjoy it. Cruise night car, it's awesome for that. You're gonna get a lot of compliments, especially after yeah. you put the wheels on and buffed it. Yeah. It's a great looking car. Yeah, it is. It really drives nice. I can see why you want to drive this one all the time. Yeah, it drives perfect, it really does. I mean, no alignment issues, no brake issues. This goes perfectly straight down the road. Fantastic, Paul. Yeah, check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com.